Both men cared for Daenerys, but who would have won if they had to fight over her? Welcome back, guys, to Fog Entertainment once again for another Game of Thrones theory. And this time, we'll put a poll up to see just who would have won if it came down to Khal Drogo versus Yorah Mormont on the battlefield in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Who would have won? Would Drogo have won the younger, stronger man? Or would the more experienced Mormont would have won if they were battling for Daenerys? Well, 198 of you guys fought it. You have gave your opinions, and with 83%, it's a pretty overwhelming there, a big majority, Khal Drogo is the winner with 83%. So yeah, he's beat Jorah Mormont easily here. Uh, massive difference, Mormont only picking up 17%. So you guys believe that Khal Drogo would have been victorious in this fight. Now, I think Jorah Mormont's main reason for having the chance in this battle would probably be the armor because his armor was hard to pierce. Uh, it was mentioned in the show several times that the Dothraki do not wear armor and that their weapons, they find it hard for their weapons to basically do damage on a on an armor, on a proper shield. And we see this in the fight when Khal Drogo's number two fights Yorah Mormont. He seems to be in control. He seems to be the better fighter. He seems to be the one winning the fight, but he can't pierce the armor. And eventually his blade gets stuck in Mormont's armor and then Mormont has an easy kill. So we've seen Mormont beat him. However, during that fight, he was overmatched. You know, he was being dominated. He was being overpowered. Uh, he was having strikes landed on him, but he only won essentially because he had the armor, because he had his uh, shield protecting him. Now, he would have the same stuff against Khal Drogo, but I just feel Drogo's so much stronger, so much faster that Khal Drogo would have managed to overcome this. I think Khal Drogo would have been able to even disarm Jorah of his weapon before just essentially killing him with his bare hands because we've seen when Drogo fought, I believe his name is Mango, Mango's not happy that Daenerys wasn't letting him have all the hooers that he wanted and Drogo basically says you're going to do what my wife wants, my precious Daenerys wants and he spat at the feet of Drogo, Drogo had no respect for him really, he got up he basically just put his weapons away and then ripped the guy's throat out. He just single-handedly took him on with no weapons and, and killed him. So if he could do that, I believe he would also do something similar to Jorah Mormont. Keep in mind as well, as much as we as much as like shields and armor can save you, they can also slow you down. And with Drago's speed, I just think it would be too much of a too much of a mismatch. I think Drago would just easily outspeed, outmaneuver, and then outstrength for Mormont and, and take him down and take him to the ground. And at that point, I mean Cal Drogo could probably, you know, rip his throat out or burst his head out or do whatever he wants really. So I, I think Drogo would win. Um Mormont's a good fighter, there's no doubt about that. I just don't think he beats Cal Drogo. And I agree with 83% of the poll. But we're gonna look at the comments and we're gonna see what you guys think. So Miguel can so in Santa Turia says Cal Drogo probably, but more of a Prime Jorah it is unknown. I mean, yeah, if Prime Jorah is younger, then he has more of a chance. There's no doubt about that. But I would still go with Cal Drogo. I think I would go with Cal Drogo over any version of Jorah, and it's no disrespect to him. I just believe that Cal Drogo would win. So yeah, that's my opinion. Ghostwriter said, I don't want to under understate Jura's combat ability as he seems like a practice hand and capable fighter but unless he has his full armor the odds seem stacked against him as Drogo seems to be larger, stronger, more unpredictable and possibly faster despite the increased size. That being said it's hard to know what would happen if a bear and horse came to blows. I mean yeah it's two different fighters so it is hard to compare but I mean I, I would give probably all the advantages to Drogo. Even size despite Drogo being bigger I still think he moves a lot faster. He's like, what, 20, maybe 30 years younger than Jorah. So, I mean, he, he's going to be a much faster guy. And I know he's bigger, but sometimes he, he, some, sometimes you get big freaks that can move at lightning pace. So, yeah, I mean, size, isn't, the size doesn't necessarily slow you down all the time. There's some massive guys that are really quick. Uh, Otto said, his armor, I think Yora has a chance, but otherwise, absolutely not him. Drogo was raised by people whose only thing is fight. So yeah, that's pretty much all Drogo knew. So therefore, he's going to be good at it. If he's not good at fighting, then what else can he be good at? Horn of the Stag said, well, I agree. 
Drogo isn't Mago. He's not going to swing at armor. He's going for the often unprotected head. I mean, I agree with that. We ain't going to see Drogo make rookie mistakes like other people have made. He's not going to swing his weapon at Jorah's um, armor and, and get stuck in the blade, possibly. He's just going to go for Jorah's head where it's unprotected. So um, I think that Jorah would stand a chance, personally. Otto says, while I agree, let's not forget that helmet is a plot hole in almost every medieval time movie where all the important characters doesn't have a helmet just so the audience can see him. In reality, helmets are the first armor you get. The head is the most important to protect, but for the main characters, that's not something to think about. I'm a big history guy, so stuff like that really annoys me, that the rich people who definitely can buy a helmet don't do that and don't need it somehow. Um, I agree. I mean, helmets are pretty important. If you get struck in the head, then you are likely going to fucking die. So a helmet should probably be the first piece of armor that you have. But yeah, like you said, a lot of times we see important characters don't really wear helmets because they want their face, they want their appearance to be seen in the show or in the movie. And while I get that, while you want to be able to see the face, it's also a bit unrealistic that they would go to battle and not wear armor but i mean whatever uh horn of the stag says i completely agree the fact that shows with incredible writing until six season six seven can't formulate a way to depict different helmets to differentiate certain characters is such a major flaw yeah i mean you don't need the helmets to be the same you can easily have two different helmets therefore you know which character is which and who is who but for some reason they don't tend to do that and they just go without the helmets because they want both faces to be seen so yeah look I, I think Khal Drogo wins I think he wins all day long but I mean Jorah Mormont who knows I mean I guess he would have a chance especially if he's got the armor uh, maybe he could get lucky land a blow on Khal Drogo Drogo doesn't wear armor so I mean any short any sort of contact from Jorar to Khal Drogo will do a lot of damage if not kill so I mean if he can get a one shot in then I guess he, he, he could do it but for me I would go with Khal Drogo let me know what you guys think down below in the comments but yeah 83% of you also believe that Khal Drogo would smoke Jorar Mormont I'll catch you in the next one guys till then peace